Here he comes. Hey, Charles. Hey, guys. Thanks for meeting <laughs> us. No problem. Charles Barkhouse has been running the tours in the museum on Oak Island for quite some time. Come on inside, guys. He knows a lot about Oak Island. Oh, cool, look at this. You know, I haven't been in here before. We've got a number of exhibits. All the, all the stuff that's been found at the island? Some of the things, yeah. I've been interested in a lot of stuff that has been found that seems to be no longer on display or hard to find anymore. Yeah. I feel like a lot of the evidence on Oak Island tends to, to go missing. So it's, it's pretty cool to see these. Well, Dan, Dan found these in 1967 below Smith's Cove. Mm -hmm. And they've been uh, confirmed by the Smithsonian as uh, Spanish American scissors. Mm -hmm. And they're at least over 300 years old. OK. Is this the uh, shoe that's, here? That's one of the shoes found on the western side of the island. Has this been looked at by anybody? Do you know? They were sent to Boston. And they'd estimated them to be over 300 years old. Mm -hmm. These are actually constructed with wooden pegs. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Lots of them. Pretty big shoe for that. <laughs> that's actually true. Yeah. yeah. The big foot. This right here, these are links of the chain that came up from borehole 10X mm -hmm. from at a depth of 165 feet. So did they actually dig them out by hand, or were they no. drilling at the time? No. They were drilling. It was a water flow test hole, mm -hmm. and they hit what they believed to be a cavity at 140 and 160. And what they did was they ran a casing down and pumped compressed air down, and then what came up were these links of chain, bits of metal, oak, and spruce, mm -hmm. which should not be at 160 feet down. Right. So you wouldn't uh, think so, especially not this. These were tested, and it's uh, uh, low carbon steel pre 1750. Mm -hmm. The fact that the artifacts on this island are still around, and I can pick them up and touch them, is, <laughs> to me, pretty surprising. Of course, this is a famous engraved stone from the 90 foot level. I mean, it's not the real stone because, unfortunately, that's disappeared in 1919. But we know they found a stone in 1803 at the 90-foot level. So this here, though, is basically made up, right? This... Well, this is only from someone's memory, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a very, very simple substitution code. You know, 40 feet below, 2 million pounds are buried, right? They're, they're talking about uh, English pounds there. Right. Do you think whatever was written there was an actual key? It's quite possible. You know, that's another theory that, that the engraving that was on the original stone was actually a key on how to either you know turn off the drains or if there's a you know, a floodgate that you could shut off or maybe even that there's a you know a way to lead into a tunnel to a large treasure cache who knows uh, unfortunately again the stone is gone i would like to track down all the evidence that's since disappeared or, or all that we can and, and, you know, kind of get to the bottom of the story surrounding Oak Island, if not the mystery itself. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Sounds yeah. like a plan. Let's okay. do it. Well, thanks a lot for your help today. No we'll problem. see you up there. For sure. Okay, Charles. Thank you, Charles. Thanks, guys.